My name's Stuart McConey. I'm, I've been here at Edgel this evening to give a little talk about uh, my new book, amongst other things. And specifically, I guess I'm here because I was a student here for three years. I did a BA ONS here in the early 1980s. And um, I have a, a, a relationship with the college and I like to come back and do these things. The university, I beg your pardon. It was a college when I was here. Now, of course, it's a university. My latest book is called Hope and Glory, um, which I'm not that wild about the title, but, I, but I, I also think it sounds a bit like a picture book about the Queen Mother. But it's a book about, I've picked a day from every decade of the 20th century, a day that I think had some shaping influence uh, in the Britain we live in today, from the death of Queen Victoria and the Battle of the Somme to Live Aid and the 66 World Cup final, covering all kinds of aspects of British life from sport and leisure to work, sex, uh, what people do, uh, you know, for, for recreation. It's just, uh, I wanted to focus on these days, these significant days, but how they're kind of like a stone thrown into a pond, how the ripples of them kind of move outwards and, and make the landscape of Britain we are today. But it's, it's got travel in it as well. I go to the places associated with these days and hopefully it's entertaining as well. It's not a, it's not a dry history book. It's a kind of people's history book. Um, the favourite decade would be hard. The favourite day would be hard to pick because, I mean, I guess I vaguely remember from being a young teenager the... Queen Silver Jubilee of 77 and how that happened with punk rock and how exciting that was because I remember that it really felt like there were two Britons and there was great music and there was this great kind of social tension and excitement on the streets and but but I remember but you know in terms of favourite day I mean I've only been around I suppose for the last four of them um, Live Aid I think might be the most significant day which will surprise people but I think that Live Aid is where our modern celebrity culture begins. That before that, celebrities were somebody you watched on the telly or you bought the records, but you didn't. You, they didn't obsess us as a culture. But nowadays, if you look at the front of newspapers, X Factor has pushed proper news off the front of newspapers. And I think Live Aid is where that obs Monday obsession with celebrity starts.